What's up coders? Welcome back to the channel. What if I told you that in 2025, taking notes in meetings is about to feel completely outdated? That's right, the way we capture information is getting a serious upgrade. Today we are diving deep into Hypernote. It's an app that changes everything you know about meeting productivity. And the best part, your data never ever leaves your laptop. And it's all thanks to the magic of on-device local AI. Let's set this cool tool up. First, let's download the Hypernote app. Right now, Hypernote is primarily for macOS, though Windows and Linux support is on the roadmap. So once it's downloaded, let's open it up and install it. Okay, that's done. Let's start Hypernote. Okay, so this is the interface. Before we start using it, let me quickly walk through what it is. It allows you to take notes during meetings and it also helps by recording the meeting conversations and then after the meeting it would summarize these conversations, combine it with your notes and create a summary of what was discussed, what are the action points, all of this in this simple note taking app. So let's get started. Before we can record, we would need to allow some permissions. One of them is the microphone access. You need to give access so it can record your voice and the system audio access so it can listen to voice of people during the meetings or videos that are playing on your computer. So both of these are possible. Let me do it in the settings. So here we need to turn this on. Okay, I will quit and reopen. The next setting we need to provide is for system audio. Okay, so the app restarted again. And now we can check that we have both of these enabled. And that means we can start trying it out. Before we get to any of the recording, let me first show you and assure you that nothing that is recorded or summarized is leaving your laptop. I can turn off my Wi-Fi and it would still work. The reason for that is while we installed the application it has downloaded two small models one small llm called the hyper llm it's a very tiny llm we can also look at it so what you see here is a very small model it's a one gigabyte size gguf model for hyper llm and another speech to text which is also a ggml based model it's even smaller it's for transcribing your speech or voice into text and that we can see here which is a very small whisper model and this is also downloaded and run using whisper cpp so these are the two models that are powering your entire system so the first model would listen to your speech and put it into text and the llm would now take this transcription and convert it into a summary so let's try that out in action so we start by recording and here what you see here is the first real-time transcription that we are doing in this Hypernote notebook and as you are speaking or as a colleague is presenting Hypernote is listening to your microphone and the system audio and transcribing everything that is happening on the screen so it feels like having a super fast silent stenographer in your meeting but without the awkwardness and nothing that you say and nothing that your colleagues are saying is leaving your laptop so you might have seen quite a lot of uh, ai note takers before there are a dime a dozen <laughs> but they all have one thing in common they are bots that join your call and send all your meeting data to a distant cloud server which might not be the best for a private meeting or a sensitive internal sync but here what hypernote does is it's using open source technologies and only running locally and it's AI first local notebook and as we complete our meeting we can stop this recording and what is transcribed here on the right will be summarized into as you see a small notebook that you can use with the notes that are taken during this meeting and this is the default template that it has used there are different templates that you can select based on the kind of meetings you have and you can also set your own templates if you need. So in this case, I have not selected a template and let me look for a brainstorming template. So what the best part is you can recreate this summary 
based on a different template since the transcription is already here. So in this case, it's talking about it's using a brainstorming template to look at ideas generated, the promising concepts, constraints, next steps, action items. So all, all of this is possible. And since in this case, I was the only one talking, let me show you how it might look like when I'm talking to someone else on a meeting. So I've opened a new note and to show you a two-way communication, I will have a voice call communication with Gemini and we will try to see if it can transcribe this here. So let me start my recording. Hi Gemini, can you tell me how I can use Obsidian and Hypernote together? You can use Obsidian and Hypernote together by embedding Hypernote recordings directly into your Obsidian notes. This lets you connect your spoken thoughts with your written notes. Would you like to know how to do that? Yeah, I can do that myself. Thank you. So this was a short communication that I had with Gemini and if you have AI assistants that you talk to and you would like to keep track of conversations that you have with your AI assistants, this is also a neat way that I used to derive notes out of them, which I can look back and search later. So this is Hypernote. We can keep track of our meetings here. We have different views where we can look at. So there's a calendar view where we can look at all the meetings that we had and there's a list view where you can look at uh, all the notes in a list and you can also add contacts here. So as you can see I have and I have my team of noobsters includes me and my AI team includes Gemini and I could very well tag people that were in the meeting let me add Gemini as well so if I want to look back at who were the participants of a meeting or if I want to search for meetings which had Gemini in them then I could do that using filters so this shows me all the meetings that I was part of with Gemini and these are all my meetings Hypernote lets me keep track of my meetings, transcribe the spoken communication in that meeting and summarize that into very usable summaries. Uh, that's cool. There are templates that you can create. So if you wanted to create a specific template, you can go into settings. Here you have template different things. You can set some of them as default. For me, the brainstorming session is a default because that's the most of the meetings that I have. But if you want to create a new template, it's very easy to do. You can add a system instruction which is similar to a system prompt that you would use in any LLM. You can add sections, header that you want to add and also the content and the purpose of the section. So the description is very critical because this will be used by the LLM to summarize your transcription into notes. So you can add multiple sections and once you're done you can save this and this becomes a new template for you. If you have MCP servers, you can connect them. I don't have any that I use now, so I don't want to connect them, but these are also options that you can use if you have these requirements. But I like to keep track of my notes in Obsidian. And here with Hypernote, we have the option to also connect our notes and export them to Obsidian. Let's try to set that up now. The first thing we need to do is to install a plugin from the community it's called the local rest api it's this one here i'll install it in the meantime i can show you in the doc how this connection looks like here is the hypernode docs which shows how to connect obsidian and it requires this local rest api plugin and once that is installed we need this http server enabled and this key will be used to configure in our hypernode settings so let's do that. So I've installed my local REST API plugin. I'll enable that. Look at the options. I need to enable this HTTP API URL. I can do that here. And once that is done, I can copy this URL that I will need to use in Hypernode. Okay, let me open Hypernode. In the settings, we have the integration section where I can put the URL that I copied, which is actually the same by default. But what I need is this Obsidian API key, which we can find here. I need to copy this, paste it here. So a few of the settings we need to do is uh, once this API key is done, we can go back to our Obsidian. And what we need to set is the vault name. So the vault name is what you see here is the name of my vault. Let me set that and I can group my note that I export from Hypernote into a folder. So let me just name that as Hypernote so it's grouped together and not cluttered in my notes section. And once that is done and this integration is enabled, we can try that. So here is my Obsidian and here is my Hypernote. 
let me try to export this particular node first so i can go to this share icon and here is obsidian and i can just say whether i want to include the transcript that is this section or not so i can include the transcript and export so what you see here is there is a new section here and this particular note was just imported here and you can see this note here in my obsidian so if you see it's kept the metadata also from hypernote like the attendees are mentioned here gemini me it's a obsidian meeting and here is the note here are the summary we also have the full transcript here of what was spoken uh, let's try it again for another note and in this case i am going for this first meeting that i had and I can again do the same and you see that here again so the meeting has been exported to obsidian and now you can do with it however you like to maintain your notes connect them together if you like and this is how you can use your obsidian notes along with hypernote few other things that you can do with hypernote that we did not look at is there is a chat mode that allows you to look at this summary or the note and ask questions about it so I can say can you summarize this note in one sentence and it should look at this whole note and give me a quick summary so this can be done but there is a limit to how many chat messages you can use this is available mostly in the pro version i would rather instead of using the chat here i would set up chat plugins or ai based plugins in obsidian there are quite a lot i don't have any recommendations but you can search for ai chat and there are so many of them so there are quite a few olama chat options so copilot is the most popular one but i would look for something with chess or llama you can set this up and add in obsidian for your questions which is free and you don't need to pay for the pro version in hypernote so as i said hypernote comes with a tiny hyper llm that comes out of the box but if you're not big fan of these small llms and you want to use something of your own then you can also set up this custom llms and point to your api keys from openai gemini open router and for me since i don't have any of these and i prefer self-hosted free models i use olama so this is the olama endpoint uh, that i have to quickly check what is your olama endpoint and if you don't have olama set up locally you can follow this video of mine to set up olama and see how to use the cli so you can check olama i have olama installed and i can quickly look for olama serve and this tells me that i have olama running on this particular port which is 11434 which is the default port and i can just set this as localhost this is my localhost ip address and what is recommended by hypernode team is to add this slash v1 you can see it in this github issue where the maintainers have replied that we should use this particular slash v1 suffix in addition to the olama server url and we can pass the model name as such and that is what i will do so i have passed this so this api key is optional if you are using some other third party llm endpoint then you might need an api key but in this case for localhost it's optional and if you want to look at what olama models you have you can just go to your terminal and run olama list and you can see all the models that you have available in my case i just use quen 3 4 b and this is set up and now anything that i run on my site will be using this particular model for transcription and another interesting thing that we have here is this autonomy selector so what it does is it helps you decide how much autonomy or power you want to give to the llm to decide the structure of your notes or the summary so conservative will make the LLM follow this structure that you have or the template that you have very closely. Autonomous or full autonomy allows the LLM to decide whatever it wants to do inside the summary. It can create new sections, add new ways to present things and basically complete freedom. And I like to choose something like a balanced. So it's not strictly adhering to this but also has room to make some differences in the structure and the messaging so i've covered quite a lot of features and integration the core value proposition is privacy 
and a very powerful local first AI note taking tool something like a meeting assistant it is a game changer for me because I use it often while talking to my AI assistants so I want to summarize my conversations with those assistants and this is very helpful in that and the connection to obsidian is even better because then I can group all my notes together in my standard note taking tool if you don't use obsidian you can skip that but this is what I use so I shared with you for professionals for teams for anyone dealing with sensitive information I feel this could be the future of note taking that's on your laptop private doesn't go to any cloud servers that you don't know about and it's very easy to set up and for it's free so now we have hypernode obsidian olama all of these local private tools helping you with note taking recording meetings and everything that you need around being more productive if you're ready to ditch the frantic scribbling that you have to do in meetings and embrace the future of note taking check out hypernote i hope you like this video let me know in the comments what has been your biggest pain points with traditional note taking and what's one feature that you would love to see in the ai note taking app maybe the creators of hypernote are listening don't forget to like subscribe and talk to you in the next video